Hey guys, it's Shimmy Spicy and you. What's up? Um, okay, so you can see by the title, um, it's doing with my natural hair. Um, I posted in a previous video that um, I started wearing my natural hair out more um, because I cut off a lot of my heat damage. Now I see that you can see that I still have some right here in the front. I have this little one right here and a lot right here, which is mainly because of my leave out. So I'm thinking about cutting it off. Um, because it's like annoying me because the rest of my hair looks really good and healthy um and i really just want to get rid of it so um but a lot of people have requested they want to see my natural hair i'm just gonna do it um and this is it um i had actually um cut off a lot on the ends my hair is actually down to here but a lot of it wasn't healthy hair. It was a lot of it was heat damage. Um, and I know I didn't cut off all of it. I'm just gonna have some flyaways for a while until this grows out. So I'm gonna, you know, see how the progress grows with my hair growing out. At least this way I'll know how fast my hair grows. Um, Cause I just want my hair to go back to being healthy. So this is kind of like how I've been rocking my hair um, last, week um because it's been raining out um a lot of crap has been going on with us like our basement had got water in it um that's why when you saw in the video where it was birthday like there was crap everywhere our house is just a mess and it's just like i can't get anything in order it feels like and we're still kind of like working on it now because um we we had to wait three weeks for the insurance company and then the contractor is finally coming out after i don't know it's been over a month um damage occurred on March 10th so it's just been crazy but um, I wanted to do a quick video and show you guys my hair um, I just got in the shower not so long ago and it's already pretty much dry my hair sucks up moisture like um, I don't know an animal that does same thing but less like probably many of you it sucks up a lot of moisture um, I put some eco styler gel in there um, and some leave-in conditioner um, my sister who she has different hair texture than I do, but she has a lot of heat damage. So I told her she's 14. Told her she wants she wants me to take care of her hair. So um, I have advised her that I'll take her hair shopping basically to get some hair products, not buy hair, because I want her to embrace her natural hair, but also to uh, just buy some stuff, deep conditioning stuff that she needs to do, like Apogee or just kind of protein treatments to get her hair back to where it was. Um, before she starts straightening uncontrollably because you know we all went that phase when we were growing up um, We wanted straight hair and we went through all that stuff relaxers and braids and and just doing all the crap to our hair that we shouldn't probably have done So I want her to embrace her natural hair um, So I'm gonna take her to do that stuff, but I wanted to show you guys um, What my natural hair looks like um yeah, um, but she got me, um, she gave me her mixed chicks leave-in conditioner, and I'm going to try to use this, um, because my hair, like everybody else, the curl patterns are different everywhere, which way in her head. You can see under here, my curl pattern is a little bit more apparent, and versus up here, where it's a little bit more looser. And... So basically, just like everybody else's hair, my, my hair's schizophrenic. It's all good, though. I am embrace, embracing it. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't know what curl pattern I have. I don't know what number I am. I'm thinking I'm in the fours. But since I had heat damage for a while, I'm not really sure. So if anybody can help me diagnose my curl pattern, that would be awesome. Appreciate that very, very much. Um, I've been doing a lot of protein treatments on my hair just to kind of give it back to where it was um, when I, until I noticed the heat damage and um, so finally after a lot of it grew out um, I decided just to cut it all off and um, now it's crazy because I see it the little ones I forgot and it's like annoying to me I want my hair just to be how it is so anyways I gotta run because <laughs> we're supposed to go look at houses um, just for some ideas to how to renovate ours. So I will see you guys soon. Um, I hope to do a lot of more DIY um, hair treatments and stuff for you guys. Um, just because I'm going on my journey with trying to grow my hair out again and get rid of the damage that I caused it. So I will see you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.
Okay, guys, so um, I re-wetted my hair. Um, I actually didn't re -wetted. I put the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner in there because I was on the run and I hadn't um, put a leave-in conditioner. I always put leave-in conditioner. So, so I do that and then I was like, you know what? There's dead ends and it's all heat damage and it's going to grow back. So I'm going to get this off the front of my hair. I still got, looks like I still got a couple pieces I missed. But it's all good. It'll grow back. You know what I mean? So I'm not worried about it. But I hope maybe this is would be like a kind of a lesson for somebody else. I mean, that you know, just because it's length doesn't mean that it's healthy length. And I almost didn't. The reason why I didn't cut off in the front is because um, I didn't want to be bald in the front because <laughs> probably would have to have shaved it all off at some point. So I wanted to have some new growth in there, get a little bit of length so that I wouldn't have to worry about being bald in the front. <laughs> you know, so I at least have some room so I can wear my half wigs until it grows out, you know. So this is what I did. So I basically have bangs. That's basically what that is. I got bangs. But it's it looks really healthy. Like I'm getting my curl pattern back, which is great. Um, sorry, you can hear Zoe and Lily in the background. But I'll just have some flyaways for a while. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys my hair so you guys could see it. So it looks like it's wet, but it's pretty much dry at the um, So. Anyways, I will see you guys soon and I will talk to you later.